Hello viewers, some days ago I made a video explaining about the, the treadmill motor, the same one you see right here, this guy. Okay, it's a DC motor, this one is just big comparing to other DC motors that we see. Where you can find this, as I said, it's a treadmill, okay, it's a treadmill motor, okay. So in previous video, I was using a rope to spin this and testing in so many tools. So this time I attached this. This is also a DC motor, but it is small comparing to this one. When we talk about the speed, because this one can go about 4,800 RPM and it produces what 1.5 horsepower this guy so this one here is about 150 watts and uh, 2500 rpm which is small to this one so the reason I attach this motor to spin this one is to see if we can get a full speed of our tools right here we are going to be connecting just now so while i'm talking let me start connecting this because most of the tools they're going to need this right because before as i said i was using a rope to spin it so couldn't see the full speed properly because it was like on off on off even though this one is going to be on off, but at least we can see the full speed because here I didn't put any glue under here. So I use my hand to hold this one so it cannot run away from there. But I believe this is holding enough. I was using epoxy this type of epoxy yeah well i hope it's going to hold my first time to use this so but i don't trust it full okay anyway no problem but first let's see remember we're dealing with a dc so we go left not right this side is the AC, this side is the DC. So we need to see the voltage first. So brown is our positive. And now when we come to DC, you need to be careful about uh, polarity because DC, you have to focus on the colors. It depends which country you are. Red to another rate positive positive negative negative okay so uh oh it has to be going that side okay so let's see with the battery i'm using this battery 12 volts 6.5 ah so i'm gonna do like on off just to see if we're going to the right direction Our motor is going to the right direction because you can see here there's no negative when the voltage starts coming out. See that? All right, so now let's begin our test. But I'm scared because as you can see, just on off like this, we're reaching 20. So I don't need anything else to happen <laughs> to my multimeter. So here's what I'm going to do. As I said, I'm going to use my hand to hold this because it's not glued. So first, I'm going to connect this. This is 300 watts. Hope you can see there. 300 watts, 3 amp. Yeah. Most of you, you know this motor. 
I don't have to say so many things about it. So disconnect it. Ooh. This positive and this one is negative. I'm waiting to see the spinning of this thing when it's getting some kind of serious voltage. Don't worry. Yeah. Right there, I believe you can see. Okay, this How about this? Yeah, there. We are fine. Okay. Here. Numbers, yeah. right? Ready? Let's see this. Okay, okay, all right. You can see that. I hope you can see it too. Because that day it was not going that fast. Let's check this side if we're not losing the. Okay, let's do it again. Let's see this one. Ready? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, okay. This looks interesting. So, you're going to tell me in comment section that can we rely on this by uh, powering some tools like this according to how you see the speed right here. Let me do it one more time. I know my batteries, you know how small they are. The power must be going down by now but anyway ready well to me that is enough to cut something using this grinder i don't know about you how you see it okay trying one more time then i'm going to disconnect it if it's not gonna work well looks like not gonna work but anyway let's just get a chance because this guy looks like he's dead so Let's see uh, how much voltage we are making without powering anything else with this battery. I changed the battery, sorry. In this one, the power is gone. So I put another battery. Let's check it out. We are making about 72 volts DC. I hope you've all seen that. That means if 
you're looking to buy a charger for a project like this, you have to get the charger which can uh, receive about 100 volts because maybe you are going to have a different DC motor, not like this one. So maximum, let's put it on uh, 100 volts, which can receive 100 volts and take out whatever output, maybe 24, 48 volts. Okay, so let's see this because this drill machine is 700 watts, the one which is dead, 700 watts, so you can see there. 701 right there okay so instead of it i have connected these 300 watts and here is 500 watts let's see this time remember our voltage uh, trying to get a perfect angle Think that's better. All right, now the voltage. We do it like this. From seventy-two or seventy volts. Let's see this time. Sorry, my chair is making noise. So, right now, let's see this time. The voltage drop. That's serious voltage to me. The serious speed. Right. So I'm gonna stop right here because all I wanted to see is that can we power the tools like this and be able to use them to grind something or to cut something. So I seen enough. To me, is enough. I don't know about you you can try your own project it's very easy just to get something connected here spin this out maybe some of you you have big batteries then try it if you can be able to power something okay but to me it works until next time when I'm going to do the demonstration about how you can wire all of this to the battery charger to charge the battery and 
to the inverter okay that will be next video but for now i see what i wanted to see thanks for watching if you enjoy don't forget to like if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe